And the most popular dinosaur of the Jurassic period is... Hello, and welcome to What the What, the show about fun facts and a little bit of science. Today, we're talking about dinosaurs. They lived a long time ago, and for a really, really long time. And to get a better understanding of how long that was, let's talk about humans. Humans have been walking on the planet for about six million years. And that seems like a really long time, right? <laughs> I mean, it is, but dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago. 65 million years, no dinos, no humos. So now let's go all the way back. 252 million years ago, we get our first dinosaur. They ruled this planet for 185 million years, far surpassing our amount of time on this planet. Those 185 million years are known as the Mesozoic Era. And during that era, we got several different periods. Side note, there was the Paleozoic, the Paleozoic Era that came before dinosaurs. 542 million years before us. And that's still not the beginning of life on our planet. But hey, today's about dinosaurs, so let's get back on track. The Mesozoic Era contained the... Oh, man, I already messed up. The Mesozoic Era contained the Triassic Period, the Jurassic Period, and the Cretaceous Period. The Triassic Period lasted nearly 50 million years, and that's when the planet contained one continent known as Pangaea. Then after many earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, Pangaea split into two sections, the north and the south. At the end of the Triassic period, there was an extinction that happened, a massive extinction that wiped out nearly all of life on planet. Life on planet. This moves us into the Jurassic period. This lasted around 55 million years and watched the continents split even more so. <laughs> I'm dummy. Now we get into the Cretaceous period where dinosaurs listed, listed? Now we enter the Cretaceous period, where we see dinosaurs live for another 80 million years. And as the continents continued spreading out, it became a little bit more like what we know it to be today. As the planet shifted, new climates and separated land masses resulted in a variety of dinosaurs evolving over time. This is why we see some species of dinosaurs across the entire globe, and then we see others in unique locations. The most popular of these periods is probably Jurassic because of the movies. I mean, <laughs> you know. And the most popular dinosaur of the Jurassic period is... You guessed it, the Stegosaurus. What? You thought I was going to say the T-Rex? The Tyrannosaurus? <laughs> no, no, no. The Tyrannosaurus is from the late Cretaceous period. That means the T-Rex didn't show up until 66 million years after the Stegosaurus. Wait, if there's 66 million years between the Stegosaurus and the T-Rex, and 65 million years between dinosaurs and humans, that means there was less time between us and dinosaurs than between the Stegosaurus and the T-Rex. They didn't even exist at the same time? And that goes for all these different periods. There are massive amounts of time separating all the dinosaurs that we know. I mean, we always assume that they're in this one kind of bubble of time, and we just imagine because of movies and media and... Hey, cats. <laughs> we always seem to assume that the dinosaurs roam the planet together, but I couldn't be further from the truth. Like many aspects of life, our depiction of dinosaurs in the media changes a lot over time. When we have an interest in a subject, but not a lot of information, we seem to overemphasize and sensationalize the things that we like. For example, if we knew that a certain species spent most of its time just kind of wandering around and relaxing, but then sometimes it would attack and kill other species, well, we're going to depict that species in more of a wow factor. In media such as film, that means we see the species baring its teeth and being ferocious, terrorizing other animals. Not, say, sleeping under a tree. Now, I don't know about you, but I would love to see a raptor snuggled up under a tree reading a good book. <laughs> Think of snakes. They're always depicted rearing up, ready to hiss and strike. Or creeping along to tense music, getting ready to hiss and strike. 
They're, they're never seen as just sunning themselves on a rock. But a sunbathing snake doesn't strike fear into your enemies. Hashtag Cobra Kai. An example of how we changed our views on dinosaurs is that we used to think that they lived for like 300 plus years. But thanks to modern technology, we now have a better understanding that they lived at the oldest to like 80 years old and a T-Rex 30 years old. So far, we have named 700 species of dinosaurs. We believe that there's probably about 900 more left to be discovered. So of course, as we discover new dinosaurs and invent new technology, we get a better understanding of what dinosaurs were actually like. That new information helps us understand that many dinosaurs were covered in feathers, not in lizard-like skin that we used to think. And that discovery only happened in 2011. I, for one, can't wait for new dino discoveries. Maybe one day the Jurassic Park series will give us the feathered dinosaurs that we deserve. Although, probably not nearly as scary. <laughs> Ooh!